Hi, Miss Davis here. Today we're reading Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. If you like this story, I also have the story The Dot. They're by the same author and they both have great um, points. Ish. Ramon loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. <laughs> In the bathroom. <laughs> One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. Whatever happened to you? Just not working out like you thought? After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol, up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's wall. He stared at the crumpled gallery. Hmm. Look at all those pictures. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said. But it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Ramon felt light and energized, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. It's a lot of ish. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. The end ish. I hope you enjoyed our ish story today.
Teachers, if you are interested, there is a curriculum that I like to use. Um, it's from Teacher Pay Teacher by Tara West. And um, this book goes along with teaching kids to get started writing and that their writing doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be writing-ish and they just have to start. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe and let me know what else we can do to help, um, to continue to help teachers. Thanks, bye.